Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. So let's get to it, y'all. Do a quick survey. Do you think that Kim and Kanye definitely has different parenting styles? One, do you think they have different parenting styles? Two, do you think Kim is trying to monetize off the kids and Kanye's not? Two, do you three, do you think that Kanye's more nurturing in regards to providing help with their gifts and their talents? Four, do you think that Kim is using the kids to monetize so that way they find a audience? So many people feel a way of her saying something about him having and being in an apartment. So it's basically saying Kim Kardashian says Kanye lives in an apartment with no security, no chef, no nanny. That's his lifestyle though. Five. Have you noticed Kanye don't talk about Kim? Kanye don't say nothing about Kim. After he got with Bianca, Kanye don't talk about Kim. After he got with Bianca, Kanye don't mention Kim. Kanye don't even say, oh, Kim is lying. Kim's not telling her the truth. Kim allegedly is utilizing North and Kanye to talk about and shade. So do you think Kim is using North to monetize and North sees that? North feels that. Because remember in the clip, when it said, North, what do you think about your mom and what she does? And North say, what does she do? <laughs> the daughter doesn't know. She's 11. The daughter doesn't know what the mom does for a living. Wouldn't you think that's concerning? Let's listen. I'm spending this time with North right now just because I'm about to go to Pelican Bay and visit a prison there. And anytime I can talk to her about what I do and why I do it is really important to me. What do you think about the work your mom does? What does she do? I love spending this time with North. So she's 11 and she doesn't know what her mom does. Now, mind you, some people will say, why is she helping prisoners? Per Kanye, Kanye said Kim likes to do that when media and press is bad on her side. Kanye says Kim utilizes that for media attention, clicks, and views. If she really wanted to make some changes, continue to change the bills. Continue to change what's going on in the system. When you think about it, there's people that's constantly being, you know, taken out of. Why isn't she still making changes in regards to Senate? You know what I'm saying? And then, allegedly, allegedly, people say she attached her name to cases, cases that some of these law school allege trying to make a change programs. They've done the work for two or three years. She attaches her name to it, allegedly, to try and get the kudos of what she did. Some of these cases take years. No one wants somebody to be falsely accused. But per Kanye, Kanye knows her best. Per Kanye, she attaches her name to these cases when the media is shifting on her, when she feels that she needs something to say, I did community service. If this is what she wants to do, that's a blessing. But why not make more of a change to change some of the bills on how things are happening, what's happening, you know, um, 
of course, all the video cameras have to be on at, at all times for these officers. And of course, if it's not on, there's a reason you're hiding something. You know what I'm saying? But do you think that Kanye is a better parent? Now think about it, y'all. When you look back at how Kanye and his mom sit down, they talk, Kanye mom praises him. Oh, Kanye, you're doing such a great job. Oh, Kanye, I'm so proud of you. Oh, yes, yeah, son, that's amazing. He lights up when he's with his mom. She listens to him. She's nurturing him. She's applauding him. She's, she's there. You know what I'm saying? So we look back at Kanye now. We look at Kanye from last year. His mom, RIP to his mom. If his mom was here, none of that would have happened. The comments, the concerns, some of that conversation is with your friends. Table talk. But you don't go on interviews and say what you said. So then you look at Kim. Kim's mom is trying to make sure all these girls are working. She's trying to get um, Chloe to do a podcast. Wasn't Kim doing a podcast for one or two months? What happened to Kim's podcast? So she allegedly, they say Chris cracks the whip. Per Kylie, whenever Chris says you have to do something, allegedly Kylie says you need to do it. So Chloe's like, I'm not doing no podcast. I say one wrong thing. People are going to come after me. I already have a full plate and some of the assistance I need. There's several things I need to put out that I don't even have assistance to take care of. Chloe basically says she doesn't have a team like her other sisters. So what does that mean? They put Chloe in situations that she's not comfortable in. She don't want to add to her plate. So Kim may be a different mom and think about it. I already told y'all, Hula should be ashamed of themselves. They're trying to give these kids a storyline to help Kim, Chloe, Chris, and Courtney. Kylie and Kendall, totally different. Trying to teach her how to drive a stick, riding horses. It's not a lot of mom, why'd you cheat? You know, it's not a lot of the girls are going back and forth. Why did you steal my deal from Dolce Cabana? Kylie Kendall's situation, totally different. Kylie was able to not really talk about Travis Scott. Hello. Kendall, Bad Bunny. Getting Gucci deals. You understand? So there's a total difference. There's a shift. Kim needs those kids to have on the show. Kim needs those kids to take pictures. Kim needs those kids to go on different events and get, you know, kudos and, oh, North did this and no, North swooped her hair. If you see Kanye with the kids, someone snapped the picture. He not standing there saying, oh, I got my kid next to me. And if he does have a concert, you don't, you didn't see, you didn't see North or Saint go on stage with Kanye with Travis Scott. Kanye did that on his own. Kanye can be famous and trend on his own. He don't need his kids to trend. If he has daddy day, father, daughter day, somebody takes a picture, it get posted. He don't need those kids to trend. He don't need them to trend. He is who he is by himself. But why is a child not knowing what their mom does? Well wishes. You can't tell people how to raise their kids. It's just interesting. Two different upbringings, two different parentings, two different moms. Some say Chris imps out those kids. Look at what Kylie did with, what's his name, Tyga. How old was she when she dated Tyga? And they was all cool with it? Why? And then they tried to attack Black China? Why? <laughs> See, it's different now. More people would have stood up for Black China saying, this is wrong. This is wrong. But back then, it was kind of like Black China didn't really say much. But Kim and Black China was friends. They snoop in, they swoop in, they take your man. What well wishes to Kanye? Men, women have to be careful who they have children by. You got to check with aunts. You got to check with the uncles. You got to check with what, what's going on. You got to check with mom. What's going on? What's the backstory? So let me know in the comments how you feel about is Kim trying to monetize off North using Kanye still as a storyline? Why is she telling his business? Why is she talking about his apartment, his security, not having a chef? 
Why would you put your at, at risk like that? Note in the comments, everyone have a great day. Focus on healthy, safe relationships. Being around people that are strong in mind, body, soul, spirit. 